President Donald Trump has made a few worrying statements in a wide-ranging interview on CBS 60 Minutes, in which he spoke about Russia, North Korea, Kavanaugh and climate change among other pertinent topics. Journalist Leslie Stahl put the U.S. president to work with her questions, and his answers left much to be desired. Trump doesn't know whether climate change is man-made. Believes climate has changed, but could change back. Here's the transcript, it's quite something, pic.twitter.com slash of 5 him go goo Ian Bremer, at Ian Bremer, October 15, 2018 Here are some of them, 1. Climate change could change back, he said, I think something's happening. Something's changing, and it'll change back again. I don't think it's a hoax, I think there's probably a difference. But I don't know that it's man-made. I will say this, I don't want to give trillions and trillions of dollars. I don't want to lose millions and millions of jobs. I don't want to be put at a disadvantage but it could very well go back. You know, we're talking about over a million years. They say we had hurricanes that were far worse than what we just had with Michael. Okay but what about science? You'd have to show me the scientists because they have a very big political agenda, he added. 2. Trump knows about Kim Jong-un's human rights violations, thought and he doesn't really care, sure, I know all these things. I mean, I'm not a baby. I know these things, he continued, look, let it be whatever it is. I get along with him really well. I have a good energy with him. I have a good chemistry with him. Look at the horrible threats that were made. No more threats. No more threats. So we're just going to normalize dictators and human rights violations. Engagement with dictators is sometimes a necessary evil to advance American national interests. But what concrete U.S. interests has Trump advanced by embracing dictators in Saudi Arabia, North Korea, or Russia? So far, very little. Maybe Trump's theory of diplomacy ISNT working? Michael McFall, at McFall, October 14, 2018 with Trump, it's all about the money. And that's money for himself. And nothing else. Martha's at Marta Moppy, October 14, 2018 3. He didn't apologize for mocking Kavanaugh accuser Christine Blasey Ford at a Mississippi rally. I will tell you this, he said. The way now Justice Brett Kavanaugh was treated has become a big factor in the midterms. Have you seen what's going on with the polls? He added that he believes Ford was treated with respect, before stating, You know what? I'm not going to get into it, because we won. It doesn't matter. We won. Had I not made that speech, we would not have won. No mention of how mocking a sexual assault victim is so wrong. He really is all about winning, regardless of any pain and suffering he causes. Kids in cages, Muslims banned, handicapped mocked, and the list goes on. Trump refuses to pledge to stay out of the Mueller investigation asked if he would refrain from interfering in special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation, he said no I don't pledge anything, he said. But I will tell you, I have no intention of doing that, I think it's a very unfair investigation because there was no collusion of any kind. There is no collusion, I don't want to pledge. Why should I pledge to you? If I pledge, it'll pledge. I don't know how to pledge to you. But I have, I have no intention of doing that. We know Mueller is operating methodically. God knows, we wish he'd go faster to hasten the end of this menace. But to be sure, he's as aware of Trump's despotic, corrupt behavior as we are. It gives me confidence he'll do everything he can to ensure justice is served. Stephen Beschloss, at Stephen Beschloss, October 14, 2018, 5. Trump says Putin probably had a part in the UK assassination but he doesn't care when pressed about his warm relationship with Vladimir Putin. Trump was asked, do you agree that Vladimir Putin is involved in assassinations? In poisonings? He responded, probably he is, yeah. 
but I rely on them, it's not our country, the President of the United States, ladies and gentlemen, support free thinking journalism and subscribe to Independent Minds More, 911 call released of woman reporting a black man for babysitting two white children more, Donald Trump tweeted about Princess Eugenie and everyone is making the same point.